Village. Police now say there was no meth lab found at this house on Potomac Avenue. We spoke with the fire chief who says they responded with caution. So we wanted to use as much caution as we possibly could because we did not know what we were dealing with or who we were dealing with. Um, and eventually we were able to make entry into the apartment, bring that individual out. Firefighters tell us this morning no one was injured here and no one has been arrested in that case. All new at noon, local leaders are rolling out new protections today designed to give peace of mind to Western New Yorkers with loved ones who are in a nursing home. Now, this follows two violent attacks in Buffalo nursing homes recently, one last August in Emerald North Nursing Home, where a patient there was fatally attacked by another patient. And then earlier this month, a patient at the Waterfront Nursing Home was sexually abused by another patient. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin is live at the Erie County Wrath Building now, where Assemblyman Sean Ryan outlined these new protections this morning. Liz? Yeah, Keith, just moments ago, the Erie County Executive and the Assemblymen announced that the county is taking even greater steps to further protect seniors in nursing homes by pursuing a new legislation effectively known as Ruthie's Law after 83-year-old Ruth Murray died after sustaining serious injuries in a nursing home. Now, under Ruthie's Law, nursing homes would be required to notify residents' guardians within one hour if it's determined that the residents' injuries were so severe they required hospital attention. In addition, the law requires nursing homes to disclose their DOH ratings at the point of application to every resident and family pursuing a facility. Now, while Ruthie's law still has to pass legislation, one thing doesn't. That's the county executive's new executive order, which creates a county website to publicize a ranking of nursing homes in Erie County to prevent these tragedies. But more importantly, no one should be attacked, nevertheless murdered in a nursing home. No family should ever be deceived by a nursing home about their loved one's condition. That while we could not have done anything to save Ruth's life, because of course the incident happened in the past, we can ensure it doesn't happen to other families across Erie County. Now, the website will go live on Monday on the county website, which is also on their Department of Senior Services page, while we wait to hear more about Ruthie's Law legislation. Keith, I also want to note that I asked the county executive about that latest incident that you mentioned at Waterfront Center Nursing Home. He said while he's not very familiar with the details, that also is a tragedy and that nursing homes in general must be held to higher standards. We are live in the Rath Building, Liz Lewin 7, Eyewitness News. All right, Liz, thanks for the update from there. All